Okay, in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to embed a contextual bot inside an Office add-in. About a week ago, I published a, a blog post that shows how to do the exact same thing in SharePoint, where you use something like the SharePoint framework to host a bot inside of a web part, but it was contextual. And the reason I use that term contextual is because we're gonna use something called the bot back channel to provide contextual information to our bot backend and to allow our bot back end to communicate with the add-in without the user even seeing that. Uh, so what I thought I'd do is, is demonstrate this uh, and what it can look like. So I built, it's kind of for fun, but I built something called the Quippy bot. Everyone's familiar with Quippy and its history inside of Office. I thought like a bot, uh, an intelligent bot would ultimately be able to pro provide a more rich Quippy experience. So I'll first run this inside of uh, Excel, Word, and then I'll show you the experience in Outlook. It's all the exact same code. There's actually some checks that go on to determine what client it's running in. So here's Excel. Uh, we'll go ahead and um, launch the Clippy bot. You can see it's telling me here that uh, it's, here's the add-in command for it. So we'll go ahead and ask Clippy. And as soon as this launches, um, you'll see the bot user interface, but in just a second, it's actually gonna message us. There it goes. It says, I see you're running the Clippy bot in Excel select one of these options and it'll insert it into a new worksheet. So when this add-in launched, we immediately using Office JS, we looked to see what client it was running in. In this case, it's Excel. So we sent the bot through the back channel. We said, hey, this user is in Excel and that's why you're getting Excel options like inserting a chart or a range. So I'll go ahead and select, select chart here. And if you look down at the bottom, there's a new sheet being added. And in fact, if I go look at it, you can see that it inserted uh, not only a table of data, but it inserted a chart itself. So we ultimately did that from our bot. Um, our bot was what sent a message privately to the add-in and said, hey, can you go run some Office JS script for us? And that's ultimately how uh, this, this occurred. So in, in a sense, we were able to like hiddenly talk to our bot back end and tell them what host we're in. And then our bot back end was able to send commands to actually run some Office JS script. So I'll go ahead and close this out and we'll show you the same thing in Word. So just change our target client here to be a new Word document and we'll do the same thing. Um, and so again, this is gonna look identical. There's no, nothing that different between the experience in Excel and Word. I'll go ahead and launch Clippy. Um, and Clippy will launch here. And again, in just about a second, it's already sent that information off to the bot backend. It takes a second for the bot backend to say, hey, I noticed that you're running the Clippy bot in Word. Here are some things that you can do in Word. I can insert either an image or a paragraph for you. So we'll go ahead and insert an image so we've sent that to the bot. Now the bot's gonna come back and actually perform that by calling Office JS locally. So you can see it inserted a picture of Clippy uh, just for historical purposes. Um, the last thing I'll show you is the experience in Outlook. I, I could have done this exact same thing in OneNote and in PowerPoint, but it would be just kind of a repeat of the, the first two. Outlook is a little bit different because I'm, I'm more explicitly signed into Outlook. It's actually, Outlook has to call APIs to get my data. And therefore, a mail add-in actually has more contextual information available to it. I can get who the mailbox belongs to and more you know, information. I can even get tokens to call services on behalf of the mailbox user. Um, in this case, what I'm doing when I launch the add-in, I'll go ahead and launch it on this sample piece of mail is I'm immediately say, I'm immediately looking up who the user is. So now it says, hey, Richard Azarig, I noticed that you're running the Clippy bot in Outlook. For mail, I can help you with the following. So it can help me do a reply or a reply all. So the fact that it knows who I am automatically is because it was able to go and look up uh, that information through Office JS. So you can do things like office.context.mailbox.userprofile and be able to get that information. Now the same kind of concept here, I'll send a command back to my bot backend and then it'll behind the scenes through that back channel will say, hey, will you go run this Office JS script for me? So I'll go ahead and say, let's do a reply all. 
And so that sent that command to the bot and the bot's gonna send it back. And actually my pop-up blocker blocked it. So let me just uh, always allow from here. But ultimately it was gonna launch a reply all dialogue. So I'll do that one more time, reply all. And there's the, the pop-up um, actually executed from my bot in a sense. And you'll see that it just says hello from the Clippy bot. So hopefully you can see how um, a bot inside of an add-in can deliver some pretty interesting experiences. Uh, I'm really just using the Bot Frameworks uh, web chat control. This is something that we provide all the CSS for so you could change the styles. I just use the out of the box style, but you could style it differently and deliver a, a pretty cool experience in an Office add-in. So check out my blog where I'll have the full write-up and the repo where you can pull down all the code and check it out. And um, hopefully some people will build some cool embedded bots for add-ins.